So here we have all the pieces to build this Zello network radio. The main event is the old smartphone. So this one's good because it's got the volume and the power both at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so this is the box which is going to be mounted to so it fits nicely on the box there. We'll glue it down there. And then I already made the holes in the box, the wires, and then also for the speaker. The speaker is just this little it's two watt speaker. And it'll sit in the end of the box like so, so then you can have it mounted however you like. And then we have the audio amplifier to drive the little speaker, little module, so put the power and, and um, audio in there and then the audio can go to the speaker out that. Also got the little volume knob there, but I'll just use the volume on the phone because that makes it neater and smaller. Uh, let's have this speaker mic. And this one's quite nice, nice and solid, nice UV 3R speaker mic. It comes with this um, TRRS jack, which is what you need for the phone, which is handy, but this does not plug straight into the phone because uh, the pins are different. Um, so we'll then I just chop it back there so we can redo the wires. Uh, and then last but not least we have the old 12 volt power supply which can plug into the and power the app. Alrighty, I'm going to wire this uh, speaker to the amp and then we shall install that first. So just gone ahead and hooked up the speaker to the amp. Just soldered this on wires on here um, to the amp here it says tells you all your pins out pin outs on the bottom of the of the amp board here um, positive and negative on this side uh, on the inputs I've also gone and put some jumper wires on so red and black are the 12 volts and then orange here is for the positive audio and brown here for the negative audio. Um, don't worry about the volume uh, knob here just now we can always we can adjust that with a flathead um, screwdriver once it's all installed. So now I've got this all installed so that's just hot glue gun into there along the top and then some blobs down the bottom. So cable tuck neatly in there and then this is hot glue out down with some blobs of hot glue and this is why it's important to have installed these before because obviously you can't see the pinouts anymore on the bottom there. And we can still get a screwdriver in and um, adjust the volume here. Um, we want to get that set. So now I'm going to take the speaker mic and snips, cut it about halfway long to give us plenty of cable. And so I'll get these wires stripped and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've gone, stripped these wires out and these wires here. The green is the speaker in this specific mic. So I'm just going to put that aside because we're obviously using the speaker in the box. Um, so what I'm going to do now is we need to do the wiring inside the box. Otherwise, we won't be able to get them in obviously. So I'm going to run that. There, I've got two guys there so I can cable tie this like so, so it's not gonna not gonna go anywhere. 
um, through those two holes and then one that goes to the phones going to come out the top there so that the phone can sit like so alrighty I'm going to strip the wires to go on the amp here and I'll be back ok so I've cable tied the um, speaker mic there put it in um, bought the positive and negative for the amp out, out here, out of the way and I've gone ahead and just twisted up these these wires so I'll put the wiring diagram on the screen now for this UV3R mic so the black from the phone jack goes to white and red from the mic and then the brown from the the negative from the audio amplifier and the white from the audio jack and the black from the microphone go together and then just the red which is the right audio from the phone goes to this orange which goes into the goes into the amp so now's a good time to test it just while it's sitting here um, but because I've done this before um, I will just solder these up and put some heat shrink over um, and you should be good to go ok so I've got this all soldered and just heat shrunk up so it's all good keep the, the uh, green ones out of the way there and um, we'll start power and that's coming out um, so what I'm going to go ahead now is go ahead and glue the sort of phone to the front like that um, with the bottom because the phone sits slightly above so, but I'll sit the bottom flush so that it um, can sit on a desk or, or flush in the vehicle or something um, I just put blobs of glue and um, hold it on there for a minute So now that the phone is all glued on the front, I've connected in the um, jack into the side of the phone there. I've also just um, soldered the power supply um, under these cables here, which little connectors. I'll probably get a better connector for that um, at one point and as you can see the red light there means it's on um, I've got um, set up Zello on this phone here so um, set up the speaker mic you go options push to talk buttons and then I'll just remove this one that I've set up there you go, add button now with this speaker mic you just fill the instructions, press now and release now 
with this mic because it's got a soft push to talk button with the button on it there you have to change headset from toggle to hold to talk it's really cool because you can just hold that down unlike the um, UV5 eyes and stuff which is uh, just basically short out the ground so you have to use the um, toggle to talk there so that's all good um, and then just got to fiddle I'll just set them for automatic now but probably a good idea to um, crank the recording amplifier there a little bit um, and then the volume on the phone here that's just what I'm using for the volume of the audio so here it is as a finished project mic, radio power in the back unfortunately I'm just using a separate power supply this just I was going to put a 12 volt car charger inside but um, the case would have had to get too big so you know it doesn't look right might be able to get some right angled um, phone charger connectors in there but yeah it um, works well there is a little bit of a bit of a clonk noise at the end of the transmission but um, yeah for not much it works pretty well echo test one two three echo test one two three Echo test one two three, echo test one two three.